What's up? My name is Baba Yemi. There's a saying, happiness is free. Is that true? Well, let's go to the street and find out what people think. Come on. Saying um, happiness is free. Yeah. You believe? So, what are the things you do that makes you happy? Activities. Yeah, activities you do that makes you happy. Things you do that makes you happy. Gaming, hanging out with my mates, going river, jumping off the bridge at Jubilee River. Um, college, college, family, a lot really. Football. But some of some of these things are not free. Do you can you do you can you conclude that happiness is free or sometimes? To get happiness, you have to spend money. Yeah, sometimes. To get happiness, you have to spend money. You agree with me on that? Yeah, sometimes. All right, what's your name? Shane Malas. Where are you from? Langley. Langley, all right. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for Have a good day. Yeah. yeah. Otilo, one. Whoa, you bought this one. Like, six people don't reject me. How did Jack buy um, I wanted to ask if you um, believe in the saying that says happiness is free. Do you do you believe happiness is free? Oh yeah, I think so. You think happiness is free? Mm. Okay, so what are the things you do to, that makes you happy? Um, make money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, money that, makes me happy. That, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That, yeah. So if money makes you happy, then happiness is not free. Um, it is for me, I guess. Because I work for myself, so yeah. I make the money for myself and then I'm happy. Okay, then. But yeah, no, but I spend time with my family, that's you know, awesome. okay. I have a good social circle. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank but you. you can create happiness however you want it to that's, be. I, I believe that. I believe that. So where are you from? Ah, uh, where am I from, as in where I was born or? Yeah, you can tell us where you were born. Here, but yeah. I'm Ghanaian. Oh, oh, I'm I'm Nigerian. Ah, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. No worries. <laughs> I wanna ask if you believe in the saying happiness is free. Yeah. Do you believe happiness is free? Yes, I don't see why. You do believe happiness is free? Why do you? Yeah, I believe happiness is free. So I wanted to ask you. <laughs> What are the things you do that keeps you happy, that makes you happy? Well, um, that's a very good question. I mean, um, I'm well known in these parts as a wizard, and I do sort of a creative music instantly, and, uh, and I like studying and research, okay. and developing uh, a certain economic theory, which is beginning to gain some traction. Okay. Might gain publicity in the future, but um, we'll see how things go. Okay. Uh, and some other sort of things which are of an intellectual nature that keeps you reasonably happy but real happiness I suppose you can get through meditation of some description especially in early mornings mm -hmm. because when everything's very quiet you can become aware of a presence if you believe in God or some sort of higher force whatever you like to call it, it doesn't really matter call it Christ if you like, it doesn't really matter same thing in the end and um, through meditation you can gain a better understanding of life okay. Uh, there are different types of it, but uh, not much my type of system. But uh, but you know, having you know, we're all different, so people can. But meditation is uh, is very important. Okay. Uh, and uh, not trying to get you worried. Um, uh, you know, you've got to take things in their stride. You know, I mean, life is very complicated in our society, and there's all sorts of problems. You know, that come at us every day. You know, usually very minor, but they can be irritating. But you have to try and stand back as much as possible possibly can, so speak, mentally, speaking, obviously, uh, in order to try and get into that inner happiness, if you can, or a little, little bit of it anyway. Okay. But as you meditate, of course, you can get more of that inner happiness. Okay. But it's a matter of experience in that sense. But at the end of the day, if the wealthiest man 
is not the man who has all the material wealth of the world, the one who has the most happiness, yeah. even if he may be very poor, or even just a tramp. Yeah. But sadly, quite a lot of people around here are not happy, even though they're tramps, they're not all, obviously, yeah. but you know, on the street and all that. So you mean, um, um, you and they're just relying on drugs, and which really yeah, yeah, gives yeah. them limited um, uh, any happiness or meaning. But that soon wears off at some point, and, and then they try again and again. But they're not going to find happiness that way. You can only do that by training your mind to go within, and contacting, contacting that consciousness, that, uh, weapon, that awareness, happiness. Okay. That's where the secret. That's the secret. Yeah. So, in conclusion, money doesn't buy happiness. Well, no. Money it, it buys you security. Okay. That's very important. That, that, that in turn gives you some happiness, yes, yeah. or at least some, you know, something to hold on to, so to speak, in that sense, okay. which you feel is secure, so to say. Uh, so real happiness is certainly not in materialism, mm -hmm. uh, it's in yourself, you know, if you've got the right attitude to things and you feel reasonably happy, you get on in life. If you don't, then obviously you're going to be in trouble if you're very negative and unhappy at the time. All this is just common sense, really. I, mean, I don't really need to say anything more, you know, and uh, it's quite simple, really. Okay. Yeah. You know, there's no mystery. Okay. Thank you. Just Thank to try to some meditation, no matter what, what, what sort of tradition it's from, Buddhist or Christian or Hindu, whatever. Well, that, that's right. Yeah. As long as you can contact that reservoir power inside yourself somewhere, and it's a very natural process. Okay. You know, you can it usually involves sort of concentration, a certain degree of withdrawal consciousness up here, okay. and you just go inside as much as you can. But it's but the trouble with that, of course, is that we still our mind is very active usually, mm -hmm. even in the mornings when it's you know supposed to rest. You know, maybe sleeping, it wakes up in the morning. Um, you have to discipline it, uh, the sort of, what they call in India, the chitty riches, these are sort of vibrations of the mind. Okay. As soon as you try and meditate, it's unfortunately for a lot of people, it's very difficult because because we have little control of the mind, you know. The mind is really controlling us. We don't have much in the way of free will. We may think we do, but a lot of our so-called free will is conditioned free will. Um, but anyway, I won't go into that, it's going to deep philosophy. But anyway, if you can, you know, try and find it in the up here, meditation okay. of any description uh, you're very lucky Thank but you. it does require stilling the mind and just and it's usually about to use in the morning because the mind is at a rest you see all the activity during the day okay. and in the morning it's easier to do okay. and you can repeat a mantra or some like like Christ or Christ or anything like that anything which okay. inspires you uh, irrespective of your spiritual knowledge it's, it's just really just letting the mind have a rest okay. and uh, and in doing life like now you just uh, you just have to just have the right attitude and, and it can come automatically over a period of time okay. because of the meditation you see because something higher is gradually coming in through you you see so you can do the problems more easily but it's a question of discipline and keep on doing the practice you want to do which are well, you for meditation okay, okay thank you so much what's your name what's your name uh, my name is robert, robert. Yes. where are you from uh, Slough. Slough okay. So is this a, a college project or something or what? Or uh, is it no, just it's just um, for um, a social experiment for internet. Sorry? It's a social experiment. Ah. Yeah, for I TikTok see. and other social um, oh, media see. platforms. Okay. So other people good. can learn from it. Mm. Yeah. Well, I kind of give you a little <laughs> example of my whistling before I leave, okay? okay. Happy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Happy. Okay, Thank you so cheers. much. Thank you.